This station is designed to test your ability to properly immobilize a mid-shaft femur injury with a traction splint. You will have an EMT assistant to help you in the application of the device by applying manual traction when directed to do so. You are required to treat only the specific isolated injury to the femur. The scene size up and initial assessment have been completed and during the focused assessment, a right mid-shaft femur deformity was detected. Ongoing assessment of the patient's airway, breathing, and central circulation is not necessary. You may use any equipment available in this room. You have 10 minutes to complete this station. Do you have any questions? I do not. I'll start by having my BSI on. I'm gonna have my EMT assistant come and hold manual stabilization above and below the injury. I'm then going to check sensory, motor, and circulatory functions. I do have a strong pedal pulse. Go ahead and move your, thank you. And close your eyes, inside or outside of the puppet? Inside. All right, sounds good. Pulse, sensory, and motor functions are intact. Okay, I'm going to take the splint. I'm going to measure it against the good leg. Since we expect the injured leg to be a little bit shorter. All right, that seems to be a decent thing. We'll secure this one. Okay. Then I'm going to apply the ankle hitch. I'll slide this under his ankle. All right, I'm going to then pull manual traction by taking this metal ring and pulling up and out. Now that I have the manual traction, I'm going to pass that to my assistant. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'm going to take the splint. I'm going to have my assistant lift the leg up while I slide this under. Make sure that this is all the way in. I'm going to take the ischial strap. Feed it through the other end and bump it down. Comfortable? All right. Then I'm going to prop the splint up. Pull out the mechanical traction, hook it up. Keep it on while I do this. Now I'm going to pull this tight until the patient feels relief. So let me know when you feel some relief. I feel relief. Okay. Now that this one is applied, we're going to secure these other straps. So it's going to go just slightly above the knee. And we have a third one right here. This one's going to go just above the brake. I'm going to reassess my sensory motor and circulatory functions. We have a strong pulse. Hold your toes for me. And close your eyes, inside or outside? Outside. All right. I'm then going to secure him to a backboard so that we immobilize the hip with the backboard. I'm going to then secure the backboard to a stretcher, and I'm going to load the patient in probably backwards so that his head is at the foot end of the stretcher so that this fits inside of the ambulance. And I'm done with this station.